Did you know that people who can draw very well often have a heightened sense of spatial awareness? This means they can mentally visualize objects and scenes in three dimensions, which is essential for accurately representing them on a two-dimensional surface. This skill is also beneficial in other areas such as architecture, engineering, and even sports. In today's video, we'll explore two-point perspective with a sketch of a haunted house and also develop our visualization skills. And at the end of this video, I'll show you a simple trick that has helped thousands and thousands of artists just like you develop their drawing skills. Now before we begin today's lesson, I want to go over the importance of choosing the right drawing pencil. Now with any pencil you choose, you want a smooth drawing experience. A good quality pencil glides effortlessly across the paper, reducing hand fatigue and improving writing comfort. High quality lead pencils maintain a consistent lead hardness throughout their use, ensuring consistent line thickness and darkness. You also want a sharp, durable lead. The lead in any good quality pencil is typically strong and breaks less easily, allowing for longer drawing sessions without frequent sharpening. A well-designed pencil also has a comfortable grip. You want an ergonomic grip that provides a comfortable and secure hold, reducing hand strain. And finally, good quality pencils are typically made with high quality materials and construction, resulting in longer lifespan and better overall value. Now let's get on with today's lesson. We're gonna start by locating our horizon line. Now this is the line that goes across our page that defies the sky from the earth. So let's start along the bottom of our page from left to right. Just gonna lightly sketch a line going across. I wanna make sure that this line is straight. Going across. And then you wanna locate the vanishing points. One on either side, so right here on the left. I'm gonna mark that off. Go all the way over towards the right and do the same thing. Now I'm gonna set this up as a two point perspective drawing, but we're gonna cheat a third point across the top. Now I'm gonna raise our house on top of a hill. So over on the left side somewhere, we're just gonna curve this up. It's gonna lightly go across, and then bring that down towards the right. Now we're just in a blocking phase right now. No need to get too detailed. I'm gonna place the house over on the right side of our page. So let's start with the front edge. So right about here, sketch a line going straight up towards the top of our house. Now the front of the house is gonna sit on the left side of this line. So let's start from the top. We're just gonna angle the house. And I'm gonna draw a straight line from here, coming all the way down towards the vanishing point on the left. So we're just gonna roughly draw this in. Just trying to smooth this out as much as we can. And I wanna refrain from using a ruler for this. Now I mentioned the third vanishing point, which is gonna be across the top. Now because our eyes are gonna sit below the house, everything's gonna appear like they vanish up towards the top. So let's move over towards the left along this line. It's gonna sort of aim up and in towards that center line. Somewhere around there like this. And we're gonna extend this all the way up towards the top. Now let's take this point. We're just gonna draw a straight line coming down towards that bottom right, towards that vanishing point. And this area here is gonna be the side of the house. Now again, we're gonna draw the edge. We're gonna pull this up and then in towards that top vanishing point. Now I want to find the center point of the front of the house. So we're going to do that by connecting this top right corner to the bottom left with a straight angled line. Do the same thing across the top corner on the left to the bottom on the right, coming down. Now right where these two lines meet is the center of the house. We're going to go up and then back down. Again, sort of aiming towards that top vanishing point. Now we want to raise the house off the ground. So we're going to start up here I'm gonna draw that same angled line, coming down and then across. Same thing down towards the right, coming down and over. We're gonna block in some stairs across the center of the house. So starting on the right, draw a straight line coming down. Now over on the left, we're gonna draw the back side, coming up in a slight angle. Now this is a top step. Let's slope this down in the top corners, angle this down and then across and we're just gonna flatten off the bottom. Now right here, we're gonna add a porch. So we're gonna step up, draw a straight line going across. Again, just aiming towards this corner. So we're just gonna slope this up a little bit more. Come down. Now we're just gonna push this area in. So from here, step in, draw a straight line coming down. Just work our way around the side of the house, coming down. And just pull this back in. Now you can see that we're starting with the basic shapes before we get into the details. Now I want to shift the door over towards the right. So right here, going up, go across the top, and then back down. Let's add a railing. Going up along the side. We're gonna go across the door, draw the post along the side of the stairs, go all the way across towards the back of the house. 
Now let's draw the creepy pathway coming down. So from the corners of the stairs, I'm just gonna wave this across toward the left, coming in and then back across. Now let's go to the bottom right corner of the stairs. Do the same thing. Now you can see that the path gets wider as we come closer to us. Over on this side, we're gonna add a tree. So we're gonna start with a stump. Let's draw an oval. In the center of the oval, I'm just gonna add a shape, going across and then up. Let's add some of the branches. Going out, add one on the left, going up toward the top. Now with the second floor, we wanna add a sloped roof. From this corner, angle is up and in. Go to the back and do the same thing. Now we're gonna draw the top edge of the roof line, going up and then down across the right. Now it's gonna line up the second floor with this line, so we can continue this up towards the top. And this will just sit along that center line and flatten this off. Let's add the top of the roof. We're gonna step down. I'm just gonna extend this out towards the side, going up. And then along the bottom, I'm just gonna curve this in towards the side of the house. And also extend this up a little bit higher, just to give it a bit more height. And then flatten that off. Let's add a detail across the front of the house. Coming down on both sides. Now right here, we're just gonna add a little window going up and just pull that up towards a point. Let's go up to the top, add a pointed roof. Now from this top point, we're gonna angle this down, coming down and behind. Also add a little window across the top and then a spire. Now that we have a rough sketch, let's go back and clean this up by erasing some of these guidelines. You get a better look at our drawing. We're also going to take out that horizon line. Now once we clean up a rough sketch, we're going to use this as a guide to help us layer on some more details. And I'm going to start across the bottom with the stairs. So we're going to start with that bottom line. I'm just going to continue to add some lines going up towards the top. Now you can see that we're slightly angling this up towards the right. As we come up towards the top, I'm just going to add the edge of the stairs on the left. Do the same thing on the right. Go on the base. Now I'm going to add some railings. Start with two lines across the base. Go up toward the top. Now this is just going to be a rough sketch. I'm not going to get too detailed with this. Add the little spindles going up the side. And now you can choose to go back and add some more detail in between. Here, I'm just going to add some paneling, some wood panels going across. Add some long, tall grass across the base of the house. I'm just going to go across the edge of that path and on the outside. And right here, we're going to add two long posts coming down. Add a half circle window across the top. Now the underside is going to go back down towards that vanishing point. So just aiming down towards the bottom. Just add some wood panels underneath. Either side of the door, I'm going to add a window. Let's add some windows across the side of the house.
tiny window across the top with some shutters. I'm just going to continue along the path. Now let's break up the pathway with some stones. We're just adding these little shapes, almost like ovals, going all the way around. And we're just going to keep this rough. And as we get closer towards us, these stones are going to get a bit bigger. Let's add some thickness to the bottom trunk of that tree. So the branches. Now from the ends, we're just gonna add these little tiny branches coming out. And we're gonna remove all the leaves to make it look a little bit more creepier. Let's add a tire swing from the tree and this branch coming down. Draw a little circle inside. And let's add a graveyard across this side. So add across a couple headstones. We're just going to lightly shade them in. And we're going to push these into a silhouette. Now we're going to add a picket fence across the front of the path. We're just going to angle these in different directions, adding a point across the top, just making it look like an old picket fence. And then add some boards going across. And do the same thing on the other side of that path. Just gonna add a few little bats across the top. Now we want to do a quick cleanup of our drawing before we get into some more detail and shading. I'm gonna switch my pencil to a darker 0.9 millimeter pencil. I'm just gonna add some more contrast and more detail, starting from the top and just working our way down. I just want to darken up the inside of the windows. Just adding a little bit of glare coming down in an angle. I'm going to add some shingles inside, just by shading these little spots.
And we're gonna darken up the entire right side of the house. Just pushing this into shadow. And then we wanna illuminate the windows. So we're just gonna keep those empty inside. I'm just going to add some rough detail to that front fence. background, I'm just going to lightly add the silhouette of some trees. So going dark across the top and then fading that down and this will give the impression of some fog across the horizon.
Now I'm gonna finish off my drawing by adding some long shadows going across our page, but I encourage you to continue to add some more detail to your drawing. Once you're able to draw this with confidence, it's important not to only practice each day, but challenge yourself to other drawing styles. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos where I'll show you how to draw different characters and techniques. I wanna thank you for joining me today and I'll see you in the next one.